Let's talk about chemotherapy. As a medical oncologist, I give medicines or medical therapies to try to treat cancer. Another term for this would be systemic therapies, and that is in contrast to local therapies. So surgery and radiation therapy are what we call local therapies. They're only treating the part of the body that's being physically removed or radiated with x-rays. Whereas systemic therapies are medicines that are going through the bloodstream all around the body, to the lungs, to the liver, to the bones and so forth, and they're intended to try to kill cancer cells. So when a medical oncologist is talking about chemotherapy, we're talking about a class of medicines that is designed to try to kill cancer cells. We are trying to exploit the difference between normal cells and cancer cells. And often cancer cells don't have the ability to get back up once you kick them down. And so the purpose of the chemotherapy is to try to kick down the cancer cell, but not kick down the normal cells because normal cells do have the ability to pick themselves back up. Many chemotherapies are designed to get into DNA or RNA um, and disrupt the ability of cells to divide properly. And often when that happens, cancer can't survive that. Other types of chemotherapies are involved in the skeleton of the cell. So in order for one cell to divide into two cells, you have an internal skeleton that that physically stands itself up, makes this, gives the cell shape, and then allows the cell to divide from one into two. And if that process can't occur, then cells can't divide. In short, chemotherapy is a class of medicines that's designed to exploit the differences between normal human cells and cancer cells.